Eugene Houston once pointed out that why is it so hard for people to change certain ways in their behavior or in their feelings about themselves? It's because inside of them runs a zikr that says, you're no good, you never will amount to anything, you know. There is that subliminal almost zikr that disturbs people. Someone who is in an addiction, I got a need, I need a fix, I need a fix, I need a fix. Another thinker that is there. And she asked the question, how could you uh, uninstall such a thinker? And she pointed out it's not possible. The only thing that you can do is put a strong zikr on top of that. If you remember how tape recorders used to be, there was an erase head and there is a, a, a record head. The erase head was not able to erase. It only set up a stronger bias signal on it so that you couldn't hear it, but all the other stuff was gone. That was so important. So this learning anything about Zikr is because it allows you to have that when you really need it. What now I need to do is against the bad zikr, I have to do the good zikr. Now the problem of other zikrs that come, I am good, I'm beautiful, and so on and so forth, to, to say, you know, because these are the affirmations that the culture said, I am beautiful, I don't have to be, I want to say this in another, another way of saying, I am seen by God, I'm loved by God, my life is significant. There's a whole other way in which the zikr goes. So.